Bartholomew Esteban Morales was a painter that was best known for being the most popular but queer religious painter of the 16th century. He was born in Seville, Spain in December of 1617 to a prosperous middle class family and was the youngest of 14 children. At age 9, both of his parents died within months of one another and Amarillo then went to live with his sister where it soon became evident of his talents towards becoming a painter. Seville was a powerful trade city in Spain despite Spain's near constant wars with France and the Low Countries. Seville remained prosperous well into the 1630s when Seville's population and standard of living decreased. Its churches and religious fraternities increased. Morales identity became integrated so strongly with religion and his paintings arguably shaped his career. Morales was known as the greatest religious painter of his age. He developed a lush, illuistic, yet accessible style that combined his grasp of the central world with religious convention and respect for a narrative clarity. Some of his most famous paintings are The Young Beggar, The Virgin of Rosary, and Two Women at a Window. During World War II, the Nazi government either looted precious artwork for money or destroyed it because it didn't conform to their beliefs. The Rothschild family owned a majority of the Morales paintings. It was believed that the most of the Rothschild looted property was forever lost during the raids in Paris. Two of his more famous paintings that were known as the Saint Justifina and Saint Rufina or known as the twin paintings, were discovered in a mislabeled box. It was believed that the paintings were lost or destroyed because there was no documentation of their existence. But in fact, it was located in the wrong box of war-claimed items. Fortunately, the paintings were later returned to the granddaughter of Gustave de Rothschild, Baron Antoinette Leon, sometime before December of 1947. Two decades later, the Lyons paintings were purchased by the Gallery Him in Paris and then bought by the Sigmund Gallery in New York, where they were acquired by William B. Jordan, the founding director of Meadows Museum, in 1972, then becoming the cornerstones of the museum's collection where they are still on display today.